This voice adaptation does not involve any copyright law since it is done with the interest of self-improvement and public education. It does not involve any monetary transaction. The present story is written by Eva Vasilevska. Drawings by David Kalkin. The rabbit who loved to count. Mother rabbit had a whole barrow full of children. There was Jack Rabbit, the eldest, Peter, next to eldest, Fluffy Tail, the middle one, Bob Tail, next to middle one, Baby Brown Ears, and last of all, Little Willy. Like all little rabbits, they loved to hop, skip, and jump, play hide and seek, and they even fought now and again. Only Little Willy did none of this. Instead, he counted. He would sit outside the front door. He was afraid of wandering farther away and count. A centipede came crawling by. Hurrying home as fast as her tiny furry legs could carry her. Willy was pleased. Now he could count big numbers. One leg, two legs, three legs. Before he had time to say four, the centipede had crawled away. Never mind, thought Willy. She walks too quickly. I shall find something easier to count. He stood on tiptoe and looked around. Not far off, he spied a nest full of blue eggs in a hollow. The eggs lay on soft feathers wisps of straw and grass. The willy was pleased. Now I can count something without them running away, he said happily. He made himself comfortable in the hollow and began. One little leg, two little legs, three little legs, four. Just then he heard a whistling in the air and a lark came down onto the eggs. She covered them all up with her body. What are you doing? She cried angrily at Willy. What do you mean by looking at my eggs? Willy didn't know what to say. He started and stammered and tried to explain that he only wanted to count them. But the mother lark shooed him off. Poor Willy walked away hanging his head. There was nothing for him to count. All of a sudden, he spotted some grains of corn lying on the ground. A whole pile of them. Probably they had fallen out of a sack. He brightened up at once and began to count grains quickly. He had got up to four. When out of nowhere, a flock of hungry sparrows appeared. They flapped and chattered and picked up all the grains. In a flash, all the corn was gone and the sparrows took off again. Willie was so sad, he began to cry as he made his way home. Once there, he lay down on his bed in the corner of the burrow and sniffed himself to sleep. Toward the evening, all the little rabbits hopped home. Jack Rabbit, the eldest, Peter, the next to eldest, Fluffy Tail, the middle one, Bob Tail, next to middle one, and Baby Brown Ears. They had their supper and wanted to play more games. Willy just did not feel like playing. Though they tugged his ear, pulled his leg, tickled him, all in vain. He just sniffed and refused to play. Poor little dear. He is tired, said Mother Rabbit. She put her knitting to one side, took Willie on her knees and began to sing him a lullaby. It was warm and cozy in her mother's arms. And Willie's eyes began to close. From the doorway, he could see a patch of dark blue sky with twinkling stars. 
Now no one will stop me from counting, he thought. I shall count every little star in the sky. So he began. One star, two stars, three stars, four. Hush, said Mother Rabbit to her other children. Shh, your youngest baby rabbit is asleep.